It all started with buyer's remorse. Cambridge, Massachusetts, 1956. Amar Bose has just earned his PhD from MIT and he buys himself a graduation present, a high-end speaker system. He brings it home, plugs it in, and it's awful. Bose bought his pricey graduation splurge based on its specs, but it doesn't recreate the sound of live music, so he decides to build his own. He begins researching acoustics, eventually spending years taking recordings and measurements at live performances of the Boston Symphony and Boston Pops. He acquires patents for his new technology and tries to license them to several audio equipment companies. Nobody wants them. Mm -mm. Bose starts his own company with $10,000 from his MIT thesis advisor. His first speakers are technically advanced, but commercial duds. They look strange. They are designed to fit into the corners of a room and radiate sound outward. But Bose's second product, the 901 speaker, released in 1968, is a far greater success. Fast forward to 1978. Bose is on a plane listening to music with airline-supplied headphones, which are basically potatoes. And before the plane touches down, Bose has figured out the mathematics for noise-canceling headphones. Ask yourself, how can I do that job better than it has ever been done before? He cared about what was possible, not the money. So much so that before he died, he donated a majority of his shares in Bose to MIT. You could say he paid it forward, and then some. Hey YouTubers, are you looking to land your dream gig or start your own business? Well, you've found the right place. You can learn from fellow entrepreneurs and peers that are embarking on their own journeys. Subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to join CNBC on the journey to make it. We're gonna motivate and inspire you, but you'll have to bring the fire.